Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and I'm returning with a little bit more of Kingdom Two Crowns Norselands. Uh, as you can see, things have gotten a little bit uh, more civilized uh, since I last left. Um, I am on the fifth, and from what I understand, the final island of this particular, I guess, game, the main, the main line. Uh, there's five islands to explore. You basically um, go to each island, expand your territory, and then defeat all the monsters. And uh, I wanted to take a look at this because I, without even really knowing it, it seemed like I was on some endgame stuff. Uh, so what better way than to just sort of uh, bring you guys along for the ride, um, as it stands. People are just dropping money all over the place, but I couldn't complete the game when I wanted to was because I ran out of money. So rather than just dig right into it, um, we'll just sort of go over, uh, come on, drop, oh. <laughs> keep dropping it and the peasant keeps giving it back. <laughs> anyway, so yes, I was uh, giving my, uh, my hard earned cash to, back to, I don't know, the keep, I guess you could say. Uh, so that's a max level keep. Uh, the banners on either side, the two on the left and the two on the right, um, depict my, well, I guess in the main game it was knights, so um, Norse knights, <laughs> I guess you could call them. Um, they sort of go to each side to defend. Uh, I have prepared my boat and loaded it up with peeps just in case things go awry. Uh, because uh, the enemies do get pretty beefy on the fifth and final island. Uh, I've actually been playing this a lot uh, during the holiday break. Um, and for whatever reason, when I was saying that things were... Um, I was pending doom and whatnot on the first island. Um, I don't know if the first kingdom, uh, kingdom game was that much harder. Uh, or if the abilities in this one sort of make things easier. Uh, thanks, guys. Um, but yeah, um, haven't had too difficulty of a time with it. So I'm just giving some money to this house to uh, recruit more peasants to my ever-growing army. Um, this is the end of one side of my defenses, but nothing is really um, that way anymore, because I've cleared out all the enemies from that side. Um, since I'm sort of got a lot of cash to spare, uh, all creations shields, uh, and then whoever isn't equipped with a shield can grab it, <laughs> uh, and then they'll become sort of more seasoned warriors, uh, even the guys with uh, axes. Uh, but I can continue going this way. Uh, I can collect whatever money's just sort of lying there because uh, as hunters hunt and shoot game, uh, I haven't unlocked that one, and I think I'm one gem away from doing so. Uh, anyway, when hunters hunt game uh, and they decease, they leave money, much like anything else you do in the game. Uh, but here's a rift of what was a mini portal. Uh, so best to get that sort of taken care of, uh, and that will become sort of like a built control portal. As is this. Uh, and we're on uh, day 29. Okay, and here's the last one on this end. And since I have a lot of money, why not? Uh, do I have enough money? So this is the lighthouse and building the lighthouse on one side of your island will ensure that when you travel to it um, from say me dying and having to uh, do another um, ruler because <laughs> you start back on island one uh, at least if the island has a lighthouse your ship doesn't get destroyed upon landing upon it so let's see if I can actually make this, and I can, don't need builders, it just sort of does it. And that's a full level 
Ooh, that's a full level lighthouse. Okay, well getting things done on at least the left side of this island. But the right side is still occupied with big bad meanies. And I did want to go through the end part uh, because it looked very interesting. So I'll let my workers do what they need to do. Uh, I'll also, before I get back into my village, um, like I said, there's some abilities that you can unlock in the game in which I find puts a, a nice spin on things. So my steed is not a standard steed. In fact, it's one of the better steeds that you can get in the game. Um, some will just become faster during certain conditions, uh, daylight, moonlight, whether it's raining or not, whether you're in a forested area or not. Um, and then some will come with special abilities. So if I swipe up with this guy, he provides a trail of fire shortly behind him and it'll take a little bit of time to recharge. Um, it is very useful for keeping enemies at bay or at least lighting them on fire. But your people, if they get caught in the blaze, they'll just stand there. So if you have enemies um, sort of gaining ground on you, uh, make sure that uh, your peasants or soldiers or whoever is following you at the time is sort of um, safe or at least not within the range. Uh, and as you expand out your territory, you get special buildings. Um, this guy right here, he brews potions to have the builders become barbarians, which is good for defense. Uh, this is standard farmland. Uh, the boat, uh, do I need? Yeah, let's grab that. And I'll just drop some into the sea because, you know what, I'm like that. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, you also have these gnome creatures, and I won't demonstrate... Uh, you know what? I will. Why not? Uh, what does this guy do? Uh, you'll get your ghosty fellow, and he'll be like, Follow! Follow! We need to teach you something! What are you going to teach me? What are you going to teach me? As, as we're following him, this shrine is where you get your special powers. And I'll demonstrate that. Uno momento. Seriously, dude, where are you taking me? Oh, do I want to follow? You guys might want to turn and give me some direction of where you want me to follow to. Because having you point the one way makes things very confusing. I think he wants me on this side for whatever reason. Okay, these guys, this this little gnome on my horseback is, uh, is going to change one of the farming areas uh, into more of a stable. So let's do it with this one because we don't have any farmers here. Uh, so he'll hang around and that building will change from a farmhouse to a stable. I believe the horse can be, the standard horse can be ridden there. Uh, you get some special guys, but I'd rather have the farmlands be farmlands because you get more coins that way. Um, but I did one with the other gnome. And again, haven't had to use the abilities too much, so it's not like I had... Uh, much use to, uh, to do what I need to do. I'm just dropping coins all over the place. Um, but this wall with the horn on it, that little gnome added the horn to it. I believe it's some sort of defense mechanism. Like I said, not really sure, don't really care. But what we're actually here for is this thing. Big. Got a big and oh, don't go away. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's done. But you know what? We actually have a lot of coin, and far more than what 
I had previously. So you know what? The bomb is waiting for a couple of builders to come and grab it. So let's just make things easier for ourselves. Here comes our builders. And they walk right past it. Okay. I guess I uh, summoned the building that uh, needed to be uh, needed to be dealt with. Uh, and we got some red skies coming up. Usually when the crimson skies appear, uh, we got some massive, massive baddies coming our way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up on this. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping to not get one of these particular... No. Nope. And here they come. So let's start things off with a little fire. And then my weapon ability is to create this army of fallen soldiers. So we got a couple of enemies coming our way. The hermit crab area is not too rough. You just can't really fight them with arrows. Uh, if that's it, then I'm considering myself lucky. Because usually there's these behemoth monsters that are not far behind. Let's get whatever villagers from that camp. Yeah, we got off lucky there. Um, there was... There's two types of behemoths. There's the regular behemoth, and then there was an armored one. And the armored ones definitely wreck up shop, uh, if I'm not careful. There you guys are! Okay, let's see if we can uh, make our way, because I did want to see if we can get things started uh, before the sun rose. So now that we have our party of bombers and our knight and our militia, now we can make our way for the whole purpose of making this video over to the far right side because this is the last of the monster portals. I'm never actually taking out one of these. Uh, usually before you get to this point if you take out the portal the portal will just remake itself in about a day or so. So it gives you a little bit of breathing room but not a lot. But these guys now have a big bomb. And when you get to this point, uh, it cost us five coins to get into the cave and then another five to set it off. So I'm hoping that whatever I did before is still ready to be destroyed because it was quite fun to actually do that. So we are going in. I'm going to get my dead soldiers out just in case. Uh, but it looks like that whatever I did before is, uh, is taken care of. So there would have been some structures that would spit out enemies. Not very quickly, but enough to sort of make things a little bit not so easy to deal with. But the dead soldiers tend to make uh, things... Uh, in terms of battle, a lot easier for me. Uh, one of the other character, special character abilities was you got like um, Thor's hammer and you can call down lightning, so that was quite cool. But we'll wait for our guys to bring that bomb. Any day now, guys. It's not like we're sitting in this enemy 
cave of death and destruction. Uh, and that pulsating thing is our end goal. So... That fluid will just continually spit out enemies until we achieve our goals, so... Come on, guys. And... <laughs> the enemies... Whoa! Oh, I see. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, my crown. Okay, did not realize. Do I actually have to escape? So, pro tip, you do not want to be in the cave before the bomb explodes. Uh, so be it. <laughs> I got my next, um, I guess, king or queen. We reforged the crown and I started a new dynasty with the new ruler. Um, I actually did liberate uh, islands one and two. So now we're on the third island. Uh, we're making a pretty good run for it, so I figured why not just sort of pick up where the video last dropped off, and I'll show you guys what liberating um, the uh, liberating the cave uh, in full entails, because I don't think we've gotten the full story uh, when we did it the last time. Um, it is sort of winter here. And I was going to change my steed. As you can see, I'm sort of rolling around on a chariot led by cats <laughs> uh it's actually quite funny and as you meet other cats they'll sort of join you uh but i got this pup following me as well i believe that's day number 50 58 uh i want to get in there before we um get to day 60 because i think that's when another crimson moon will arrive uh but there's the steed we had before and if i wanted to i could pay the coin to get him going but like I said uh, we seen him sort of do his thing in sort of like the previous segments so let's keep with our cat carrier uh, this shadowy figure he holds on to your gems so if you have gems that you want to save you can put them into a box and he'll release them for you uh, and since it's winter time since my farmers do not uh, farm uh, they instead do I don't know, whatever this is. I can't remember. I don't know if it's um, sort of mining or some sort of berry picking. Regardless, we're burning daylight here, so... Oh, and the uh, chariot's special ability, as they flash, you're given a pretty good speed boost. Uh, but we've gone to the blacksmith and we've armed up our guys. Um, they throw bombs as well as an archer, so it's good to have. Uh, but we're here for the end goal, so let's build our bomb. There it be. And we'll get a couple of more... Take three. Yeah, it takes three builders to haul this thing. Uh, since the cave is off to our left-hand side in this island, uh, that's where we'll head. In the background, you can see the hills were shot up with the arrows of the gods. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Here comes my troop of, of soldiers. They'll protect their, their queen as she, uh, she enters the domain of the enemy. And we'll get a couple more shields going. Don't think it'll be necessary though. Uh, we'll wait out the night. At least it'll give us some time to sort of see 
uh, wait out the enemies and you know what, I built one of those bombing towers here so we'll see it in action. I think the dog is also good for detecting when enemies are coming, are just coming. <laughs> They haven't really gotten close yet, but, uh, yeah, here they are. So let me summon my army of the dead. Like I said, it's the ability that I like the best. Uh, it has sort of kept things under control specifically. Uh, yeah, and these towers take uh, one of your builders as well. He's the one that chucks the bombs. And does a pretty good job at it, too, so... We'll carry on, because that wave should have been the only one for for the night. And we have to wait for our guys to get, get over to us. Where's our bomb guys? Come on, guys! Let's go! All right. 59. Let's, uh, let's make sure we, uh, we do what we need to do here. So we'll edge closer to it until we're given the prompt that, uh, the bomb requires money to go in. So here's those structures that I was referring to before. They are the enemy spawners. They'll just spawn out some basic guys, which is all fine and good. Uh, they will not last too long to both... Uh, whoa, whoa. Don't want to be losing any coins here. I thought that was dead. I am mistaken. The guys are going to be uh, despawning soon. Oh, don't. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is be uh, wasting money. Uh, at least uh, dead guys have respawned. get them started before they despawn again. Slow and steady wins this race for sure. Uh, but I don't need my frontline guy uh, losing his, his shield. He's pretty beefy. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's get him some backup. All right. What do we got next, guys? Okay, we got the end. We got the end here. So, send my dead warriors up in front. All they need to do, like I said, that that river down or towards the left is just going to keep respawning. It won't really matter. We just need to edge enough forward. <laughs> I just want to get my dead warriors out one last time. They'll make sure everything's hunky dory. Oh, nope. A little bit more. There. That should do it. Arm the bomb, and we are out. And that is more like it. <laughs> we'll go through some stats. I don't know how how accurate these are. Farmers hired twenty two. I don't know if that's through all all my islands or not, but sure. 
but at least we survived. So, um, <laughs> and now the island is is safe. No more, no more enemies. And I believe those enemies are considered as the greed. So, if I haven't been using their proper terminology, uh, but you know what? There's still monsters in my eyes. And as much as I've been loving this game, there is one major gripe that I've been, I've sort of noticed with it. Um, going into the co-op mode, it only does local co-op. There is no um, online co-op for, for the mobile version. Um, and I, I don't expect it to be sort of rectified, um, but it would be really nice if a patch came out and said, oh, online co-op for mobile players. Uh, so you know what? We're going to stay in single player because uh, <laughs> we don't have anyone here to play with, unfortunately. So um, you know what? It is what it is. But like I said, I've been really enjoying um uh, Kingdoms Two Crowns, and I'll get into probably some of the other campaigns as well. I did want to try uh, some of that stuff, uh, especially the Deadlands, um, but I'll definitely go through all of that. Pretty northern lights there. These clear skies on this winter's eve. Um, but if you enjoyed some of the content that I've been bringing. Um, from Kingdom Two Crowns, let me know. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I'd want to do with it. Uh, you know, maybe a live. I don't know. Uh, but let me know in the comments uh, what you what you thought of the quick play and this, and if you want to see more. If you did enjoy this video, smack that like button like the barbarian you are. Leave me a comment or subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness because you never know what i'll be playing next this has been shin virtuality game on have fun and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching everyone bye